the iconic dal lake gets its own insignia signage it gets its own name and branding and this is all part of uh, the Srinagar Smart City project and what you see behind me ladies and gentlemen is more than five and a half kilometers of cycling track that's what you can do you can get your own bike and you can cycle all around the Dal Lake and the man whose team is working very very hard and he looks very fresh but he's been having sleepless nights and tireless journeys is the Municipal Commissioner of Srinagar and also the CEO of the Smart City projects Atar Amir Khan Atar thank you very much for thank your time you. thank and you and congratulations so much. you've just collected an award and air dash back from Delhi tell yes. us about that uh, yesterday it's yesterday itself so uh, the award is basically by, by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs mm. for our integrated uh, public transport system that we are developing here. Mm. So uh, as part of Smart City, maybe we'll talk about it later. So mm. we're working on this five-pronged public transport system with heavily pedestrianizing the city mm. so that people can walk all the short distances around. And this five-pronged is part of the eight steps to Smart City. It's eight steps to Smart City. So let's city. talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this five, uh, so it broadly, if we look at this urban mobility point of view, we're looking at pedestrianizing the city. We mm. have taken 100 kilometer so of street networks. Yeah. So there are walkways. Ways. So, so that it's very comfortable for people to walk at least the shorter distances. Another is introducing public bicycling and active mobility for people, non-motorized transport. So that we are developing, cycling traps. We now have a public bicycle sharing scheme. So there are 100 docking stations across the city. You can get a cycle within your 500, 600 meters, irrespective wow. of wherever you are in the so city. So I can bike around Srinagar? Bike around. You can cycle completely around. bike wow. around the city. Take a cycle, Go. Yeah. you can leave it at the next station and go Go ahead. It's yeah. free I've seen for something even... like this in Stockholm and in Holland. Yeah, very and similar that. to that. Yeah. Very similar to that. Then we are also working on the electric mobility in terms of uh, e-bikes. Uh, we have uh, uh, incubated certain startups who are now running this public, uh, I would say, e-bike sharing systems here. Then e-rickshaws as a feeder systems. Then the for the first time, now city is going to have its own public, uh, I would say, bus transport system. So wow. it's all completely so electric, Srinagar is completely uh, non-emission based. So uh, the we have 100 electric buses which are running uh, now in the city, which we have started here. Then we're also looking at the water transport. Wow. So walking, cycling e-rickshaws, e-bikes, e-buses e e and water transport. That forms a, I would say, a five-pronged strategy for public so public transport. Now, that means that people really don't need to actually drive around Srinagar as much as they can lean on public transport and also just meander around their own time and there is something to do everywhere. Absolutely. Now, let's get to, this is one of the cogs out of the eight steps. Absolutely. So, what are the other seven steps? And uh, it seems like a grid-like thing that you're trying to do? Uh, yes, uh, I would say for the first time probably in any city, uh, there's been such a kind of integrated and comprehensive planning of urban renewal. Mm. That's why many now call it as a Srinagar model of urbanization. Urbanization. Uh, so one, what we have done is we have taken the areas in the city, projects in the city, all well interconnected and integrated for the fir first time. Mm. Now we have the water uh, front, the Jhelum river front. Yeah. Now Jhelum is the, I would say, the nerve center for the city. That yeah. is where the city was habitated around. So now the entire Jhelum river front we have taken up for upgradation. A lot of public spaces are coming yeah. up. A lot of fantastic. commercial spaces are coming up. So one is that. So it's then, Singapore inspired or somewhere else inspired? No, it, it, or it I, is I would say it is more Srinagar inspired. Srinagar inspired. Now water transport and uh, that again we are trying to introduce both in River Jhelum as well as in the Dal Lake. Now Jhelum is little peculiar in the sense that we have half of this riverfront which is in the area where we have a lot of space around. Hmm. So now in those places where we visited in yeah. the day, whether it is the Raj Bagh side or the Lal Chowk Band side, yeah. so a lot of public spaces, cycling, walking spaces are coming coming up there. Then and you also have, cleared out some of the uh, you know areas which were taken up for CRPF accommodation and all of that and you've cleared that and made it public sparking. Yeah, a lot of spaces because and over a period of time the security situation has improved so much. Now the accesses have opened up. Even CRPF is so much cooperating with that they're saying please let's improve let's convert a so-called a security picket into more more of a public helpline public help desk where people can come and come and you know if they have a problem we and help them out there and opens the way to the gallery also absolutely. doesn't it so under the under the Abdullah bridge there was a certain space which used to be earlier closed but it's now it's now a public access towards the riverfront then in the riverfront again we have we used to have old heritage guards there are 45 of them which we have restored and renovated now we're using them both as Guards as a public space and also as a water transportation boarding and deboarding point. 
things. Then we have a lot of important heritage structures and shrines and temples mm. uh, all along the river. Yeah. Because at one point of time, the city used to be river facing. Correct. So that's what we are trying to come back to. So those heritage structures are again being restored. Uh, that's important part of our, uh, I would say, the f uh, this first theme. So, so call it Jhelum Riverfront Development and Water Transport. Uh, second is the central business district upgradation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in Sirnagar city, whether we talk about the famed Lal Chowk, Residency Road, MA Road, Batamalu is again one more adjacent area yeah. which once upon a time used to be a commercial hub in the city. But uh, I think past 30-40 years had completely lost its commercial value and value. commercial importance. So all of that uh, area is being upgraded. So we are heavily investing in our drainage infrastructure. We are improvising our sewerage networks. This is probably for the first time in our central business district. We are having now separate segregated lines for drainage and sewerage. Otherwise, it used to and get your, all and mixed your up. wires are also going underground. Yes. Similarly, the electricity and communication utilities, we are putting them underground at most of these places. Many other places, rationalizing them towards the sides so that walking spaces and roads are clear. So that underground Electrification is again something which is, uh, I would say, playing a huge role. Now, it's not easy to do that electrification given our water table conditions, yeah. etc. Yet, I think our engineers and experts have been doing it beautifully. The Polo View, Lal Chowk, yeah, Residency Road, River the Friend. The there also looks so good. It's, 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 it's all a, underground. Uh, and, and it's quite a buzzing place uh, it, from what it was about, say, a decade ago or a decade and a half ago to what it is today, it's it's transformation. But That's that is that is true. In fact that was that is that was the broad objective also that when we are doing some work somewhere, it the purpose is people. Yeah. It should gather people. So Lal Chowk is one of the important public spaces. Yeah. Two years back there would hardly be any person there even after seven o'clock or around seven o'clock. Now even ten, twelve o'clock you find hundreds and thousands of people there, even I remember at one point of time, police had to turn off the lights yeah. so that there are too, there were too many people gathering mm. there. Similarly, at the river front or polo view or even the lake front and all all across this periphery, there are hundreds and thousands of people coming every day. That was the purpose, that people should come out. See, uh, uh, abrogation happened about four years ago and I've been almost coming every year. And some of our VJs are also regulars that we've been coming. But we had not seen all of this happening. So. This, this uh, recent phenomena, what, uh, a year, year and a half, 18 months is what we are seeing all of this uh, happen? Basically, uh, Srinagar is part of the uh, Government of India Smart Cities mission. It's mm. one of the 100 smart cities. But somehow, uh, over the, since 2017, I would say till 2021, not much of the work had happened. So it took, it, it is, this is a, I would say, post-21 phenomenon. Mm. So year 2021 took us for the broader planning of these projects, developing DPRs. We got some of the best experts from all across the country, urban designers, urban planners, structural engineers, to help us out. How do we do it? The Transport. local, similarly, we did, a lot of our local experts and local professionals came also on board. So the, the year 20. One took, broadly took us for the planning and in 22 we started execution of this project. So since I would say since past one year we are in the execution phase and this will go on for another I would say at least six, seven months. A broad target is by the mid of next year, 24, but, 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 most of baat, this work should be complete. Yeah, but ek baat bata hai, I have come here in the past. And this used to be what about five, six feet, no, and then yeah, it yeah, used you didn't to have be, so much space. It used to be actually a huh. one and a half feet to two feet wide uh, walking space. Yeah, it so now the road was as, as it is. The, the grill that huh. is there, we have actually reused the grill. It used to be here. Here, huh. so that is when so what we have. This is around this? now an eighteen feet wide walking space. So what you encroached into uh, the no, lake? No, we, we have not exactly. That's You've the beauty not. of this project. So what we have done is. There was a certain sloping area uh. towards the towards the lake. Yeah. So what we have done is we have gone slightly deeper, done certain piling to a certain extent. Then on columns, this is all taken out, out on a cantilever. So it's a cantilever. It's a cantilever. You can you can maybe wow. you can pan so from I'm here. Just, uh, we're breaking away, but yeah. Oh wow. So this is out on a cantilever. So and not even an inch. The beauty of this project is that not even an inch of the water body has been uh, impeded. Impeded. So but we have we have been able to create create around 18 feet uh, wide wide. 18 space. feet wide space, which is broken into cycling and it is also broken into walkways. Mm, yes. So now uh, this is hi. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you as well. Good Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now this is uh, the part of our lakefront uh, upgradation. 
Now in the Dal Lake, what we have done is mm. there's a starting point we call as Dal Gate. Yeah. From Dal Gate to Nishat. Mm. So on the both the sides of the road, there are now proper two walkways. There's a left boulevard walking uh, space and the right walking space. It's around nine kilometers. So that portion has been pedestrianized. Then if you can see from here, yeah. there's this middle right, uh, that the bund, the uh, kind of a bund in the right across uh, the Dal Lake. Dal Lake so yes. some people used to. Uh, run cars over there and this is complete, was in complete shambles. Yeah. Now we are converting it again into a cycling and a walking space. So the five and a half kilometers of this, that's so about this two and a half. So this becomes five and a half kilometers till this point. Then from this Nishad garden, yeah. outside the Nishad garden, that precinct again we are redoing so that it's again walkable, it's again convenient for cyclists to go around and also so that there is no traffic congestion traffic over there. Congestion. And then this walking and cycling space, we are connecting it with the other one. We call it Nishad Sattu. Yeah. So maybe after five, four, five months, once you are back, this is going to be a complete circle around the complete ring around the Dal Lake. Five months is what you are saying. So yes. the barf bhi pigal jayegi, so April pakad lete hain. It will be, it will ha. be So you and me have to bike. We have to bike. And, we have and, to then, bike. and we'll have this whole chat and the while biking. And then uh, if we go slightly ahead of here, yeah. so there is a canal called the Shalimar Canal. Yeah. That Shalimar Canal connects Shalimar Garden with the Dal Lake. Dal Lake. That's around another more than a kilometer in length. Mm. Now, my sense is, had it been in any other country, it would have been probably one of the most beautiful, uh, maybe like an Amsterdam uh, yeah. Kaizen craft or Current. something like that. But it was again in complete shambles, and that we have again taken uh, taken for uh, restoration. restoration. So we are restoring both. So we had done a lot of cobble paths around it, and also we are trying to improvise on the water channel so that maybe Shikara can go from here and reach the Shalimar All the garden. Way up till uh, Shalimar garden. We have also made some nice bridges around it. That Shalimar canal project is again something very important. Uh, outside the Shalimar garden, that precinct has again been redesigned, redone. Walking spaces have been properly carved out. Spaces for people to park cars, embarking points and disembarking points for the uh, vehicles, th those have been done. So if you look at the dull periphery, so Shalimar gets connected with the lake through the Shalimar canal. Then this entire dull periphery gets a cycling and a very strong uh, world-class walking infrastructure, walking infrastructure around it. Similarly, right across the Dal Lake, the old uh, Nishat Sathu gets, really gets converted into a walking, cycling space. In, and that space is a lot used for fishing also. Ah. You find every e evening, uh, for a lot of people sitting along the banks of that uh, and place and, and, and fishing. So that's again something which we wanted to do. Mm. So then but beyond but this, then we have the uh, Hazrat Bal on yeah. the other side. That yeah. is where this walkway and cycling space ends. And then from there on, we are working on our old city projects. Oh, lovely. So in heritage conservation of our downtown is again, I, I would say, one of the very important works that is but going on. But the first here. time downtown has been spoken about as part of a heritage city and as part of a project in terms of trying to really do something. Ab there. Absolutely. I would say this is probably for the first time post-independence such work is happening in the downtown also. Mm -hmm. Now, with respect to the old city, what we have done is, from Dalgate, there is one road called a Dalgate Gojwara Road. Yeah. So that is one of the accesses into the old city. It goes right through the Jame Masjid. So that becomes one of the entries into the old city. Similarly, or towards the western side, we have a road called a Nalemar Road. Mm. So that Nalemar Road becomes another interconnection into the old city. So we are redoing both of these roads which go into the old city. Then around the old city, we have taken broadly three zones. And we call it Shahri Khas. Shahri that is Khas. where our most heritage markets used to be. That's where most of the heritage structure structures, whether it is the Khan Kai Molla, whether it is the uh, Jame Masjid, whether it is the Pathar Masjid, whether it is the uh, Hanuman Mandir, whether it is the Habba Kadal, all those all those areas are getting an upgradation. Uh, again, we are uh, the upgradation is not just some kind of a beautification. Hmm. So we are building. Uh, drainage networks, we are building sewerage networks. In many of those areas, you would otherwise find that there is fecal matter going on around in the drains. Mm. Now that is being captured into the sewerage networks. Okay. Then electricity lines, they are being put underground. Uh, communication lines are being put underground. The heritage buildings which are on both sides, we are not dismantling them, we are not letting people to dismantle them. We are again improving, conserving them, doing the facade improvement. 
we used to have this something called as Dajji Diwari, which is a traditional architecture of this place. Yeah. And that is again being uh, incorporated, incorporated into, 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 into that broader That's planning. A, all this is a lot of work and you're saying, how much of this has been now completed? 60, 70 percent of it? Uh, I would say we at present we are at uh, around uh, 60 percent of its 60%. completion. 60, 70 percent of its completion. Now, some pro in some projects it's 100 percent, in other projects maybe 90 percent, in some projects it's maybe 30 or 40 percent. So, so should so, I say summer of 2024? Summer uh, of 2024 is the target for us. In fact, Government of India has also given us a target of June uh, 2024 and we are also well within that, within those targets. And these are, by the way, some of the fastest executed projects. Yeah. If you see the residency road in Lal Chowk, you must have seen it, that uh, we had started work in the month of February. Hmm. Now, February, March, April is broadly the part of the winter only. And we inaugurated the project in August. August. So that was hardly four or five months five of months. This good itself time. about five and a half kilometers, ladies and gentlemen, of cantilever and all of this already done and I've walked, we've gone quite a fair bit, about three, four kilometers further on, it's all been done. And this is what, in eight months, nine months? Yes, roughly around eight, wow. eight, eight, eight nine months. That's So what is life after sundown here in Srinagar? This is the famed Lal Chowk area and this is the Polo View Market which got a lovely spruced up look now. Have a look at it. It's just beautiful. It's a lovely walk in the evening. And there is a buzzing nightlife here too. And uh, it's got its own flavor ladies and gentlemen. Have a look at this. This is an impromptu performance. Street performers, folk performers. And kids, everybody just enjoying the dance. And these beats are the local beats. These are Kashmiri beats. And this is so nice. Now we've got the lights all coming out. And there's a beautiful promenade that looks fantastic. Abid, one thing tell me, you and your brother are friends? Friends, yes. Friends, so what were you doing and how did you do it? Sir, we have learned this from the third class. This is our culture, Kashmir. What do you say about Kashmir? We call it Matka. Yes, sir, I have learned from my brother. How did you do it? 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 हाँ उधर भी मिट्टी का है लेकिन गर्दन उसमें चौड़ी होती है इसमें लंबी है तो इसमें आपका ट्रेबल तरह शार्प साउंड आता है साउंड हाँ सर पर आप तो थर्ड स्टैंडर्ड से आप सीख रहे हैं जी सर और उसके साथ जो हारमोनियम बज रहा था और हारमोनियम के साथ क्या बज रहा था जी तुमखवारी हाँ तुमखवारी बज रहा और उसमें आप क्या बजा रहे थे सर वो अपने अपने वो इसमें होते हैं कुछ जैसे इसमें जैसे हमने नाम दिया है अपने अपने तरीके से इसमें जो जो हम बजाते हैं इसमें हम नाम देते हैं जैसे ये भंगड़ा है ये कश्मीरी इसको बोलते हैं छाल इसमें फिर पीस लगते हैं सर वो पीस हमारे दिम हाथों में हाथ में है हाँ जो जिस टाइम बजाना होता है दिखाएंगे Huzair, Huzair, so what do you do, Huzair? I'm a professional athlete. You're an athlete? Yeah. Uh, what do you do? I'm doing running. You're doing running? I'm running. Ah. Long running. Ah. Uh, I'm doing practicing also day by day. I'm growing the... Uh, I'm expectation is... Uh, my uh, first run is uh, Srinagar to Leh. Ah. Uh, also, I am doing uh, Srinagar to Delhi. I, uh, 950 kilometers in 7 days. 
आप 950 किलोमीटर श्रीनगर टू दिल्ली सात दिन में भाग चुके हैं यस सर व्हाट आर दी सर्टिफिकेट दैट यू आर कैरिंग यू आर इन द इन्फ्लुएंसर बुक ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स एज व्हाट फ्रॉम श्रीनगर टू बारामूला ओके फॉर रनिंग फ्रॉम श्रीनगर टू बारामूला एंड यू आर एंड आर यू एनकरेज ओ यू गॉट अनदर सर्टिफिकेट ओके लेट मी होल्ड दिस फॉर यू हां इज अ इंटरनेशनल रिकॉर्ड ओके श्रीनगर टू दिल्ली 950 किलोमीटर 950 किलोमीटर्स डिस्टेंस 940 किलोमीटर्स डिस्टेंस दिस इज जस्ट वन ऑफ द मेनी स्पॉट्स एंड दैट्स द रीजन व्हाई द स्मार्ट सिटी स्ट्रीट्स एंड प्लेसेस and celebration and corners srinagar was the one that was the role model for nearly 100 municipal commissioners and mayors across the length and breadth of bharat who came here to learn to see how we can develop spots where people can gather they can congregate they can have a little bit of fun and also there can be